Hello everyone, this is MP. So this is our second part in the VB script tutorial. So in the first part, I uh, showed you how we worked with the variable. I also gave you a little bit introduction to the VB script. So in this video, we're going to talk more about like the uh, variables and uh, constants and add how the operators we can use it. So firstly i would like to tell you so previously if you have seen like my previous video i just saved it and just uh, put these values in the message box and if you double click on that you will see like mp100 okay so now so if you don't want to use the variable still you can it will function like the same let's disable it so in the vb scripting you will you will comment like this all right so double click so it is working like the same but we can enforce in the script to uh, use the uh, declare the variables because that uh, comes in the good practice so i think we should uh, we should just uh, enforce the user or maybe the developer to use the variables so let's write a text option explicit so when i wrote this one if you save it and run it this will give you an error what happened where the error goes okay yeah so it is giving an error so if you comment this restriction and save it and then run it it will work as usual all right so it means you can uh, enforce the user to declare the variables all right so we will uh, enforce the user to declare the variable which is a good practice so guys now we have to uh, do the sum so let's see how the sum is work so i am declared the two variables let's I mean, declare the third one is a total and now the total equals to value 1 plus value 2 and value 1 equals to 10 and value 2 equals to 20 okay so in the total value 1 plus value 2 so let's display in that in a message box total save it and then double click on that okay so it is 30 so which is correct so this is how you simply do the sum so similarly for the multi okay let's do that for the multiply and the multi equals to and total one let's give it a one so that we can store the but here we have to define total one okay 
just save it and see how it's working so the uh, sum is like 30 and the multiplication is 200 all right so which is correct so similarly the other operation you can do which is uh, very easy and uh, as I told you how you can concatenate you can concatenate any strings with the help of and operator okay okay guys so these were the variables and now let's uh, declare a constant so give a constant so we define like this c o n s t constant um, let's put it as a dialog name equals to uh, mp window okay so save it and uh, what we can do here let's put it in a message box message box message box let's call dialogue name see what it will say some 30 20 and mp windows okay so now if we have to show that in the in the dialog so right now okay let me show you so if we want to show it as a title then what we have to do we have to um, generate we have to we will just put zero here and then we can put it like the, our dialog name just so just save it oh cannot use parentheses when calling a sub all right guys so here we we can't use this parentheses when we have to call this kind of sub so now i hope it will work okay so as you can see the uh, window title name is mp window which is coming from here so this is also not a case sensitive language so you can just put small d and then just run it it will react like similarly mp window so that does not matter to it so now this uh, uh, constant value suppose that if we will declare again dialog name then as soon as we declare it and save it and run it it's immediately give us a error like name redefined is not possible okay so as soon as we comment it out and run it it is reacting similar so here we didn't we disabled the values so that's why it is not coming up so this was a story of the constant values all right guys so there is another thing like what if like there is an error happened what it will do suppose that if we having a error here suppose that if we have another comma and we run the script we will have error right syntax error oh guys so oh sorry in the syntax error so when we have a syntax error so let's run it the syntax error so just want to show you what is happening when there is a syntax error and now there is an another error is called so now if we remove the comma so this will be another kind of error so this is a called variable is undefined okay so this is a different type of error so there is a way to uh, resume the script 
if that kind of error happened so you just have to write a text here on error resume next okay so when there will be a syntax error it will not work because it is not able to overcome from the syntax error so where it is working when there is an variable undefined that kind of error then it is like bypass that step and go into the next statement so that is what this uh, this piece of code is doing it is a kind of error handling or you can say it also a recovery of an error so this is pretty much it is for this video guys so i hope you like the video and i'll, I'll meet you in the next video thank you bye bye